Have you got a water leak dripping from the rear right hand corner of your Polo 1.2 engine? You're struggling to see where it's coming from. Maybe you can see a bit of a pool of water at the bottom end of the dipstick tube. Well this here is the uh, pulley that drives the water pump and the chances are that the uh, leak is coming from the water pump. So I'm going to show you how to change the water pump. Don't forget if you want to learn more about looking after your car yourself, saving a few dollars or pounds on garage bills on the labour, then stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification to make sure you don't miss anything. Give yourself some extra space, take the air box off. Just gives you a whole load more room around here. Now we will need to remove the serpentine belt in a few moments, but before we do, undo the three screws that hold the pulley to the to the shaft of the water pump just to just take the tension off whilst the belt is still in position and can be used to uh, stop the pulley turning. To remove the serpentine belt first pop the cover off the centre of the uh, tensioner wheel. Now with your T50 Torx on a ratchet set into the uh, undo direction. Connect to the bolt in the centre of the pulley. Make sure you're squarely in it and lift. That will take the tension off the belt and you can lift it away from the alternator pulley at the front with your other hand. Once the tension is off the belt, you can lift the belt away from the water pump pulley. You can now undo these three bolts that hold the pulley to the pump. Try not to drop them and then the pulley simply comes away from the pump. If like me you drop one of the uh, bolts, although it'll end up on the floor, a magnetic pickup tool is very very useful. Now if we take a look at the new pump and we place it in roughly the orientation that uh, you would see looking sideways onto the uh, fitted one, you'll see that there are four fixing positions and you will need a hex six millimeter bit and you'll also you'll need an, either a, a long bit or a very short extension on your ratchet bar. Make sure to put a suitable receptacle under the car to catch the fluid with the six millimeter hex and ratchet go round and remove the four bolts. You may have to go round the periphery of your of your pump by feel to get them all out and now you're ready to remove the pump. I'm using uh, the wooden handle end of a, of a hammer. If you give it, support it underneath with your left hand, knock it with your right and the pump just comes straight off. The pump has got a groove in its casing for the uh, gasket but you may find when you take the pump off that the gasket gets left behind on the uh, block face. If that's the case then scrape it off and clean up the block face uh, perhaps with a, a little bit of thousand grit or something similar or even a, a scourer. This was the original pump on this engine and it's got a flat gasket. The new pump though also has a groove around the periphery but came with like a, a large rubber o-ring that fits into that groove. Now when you place it in that groove you might find that it keeps springing out. So a little trick that uh, I used is to place the o-ring in some very hot water uh, right up to boiling if you want. Leave it for five minutes to get nice and warm and to soften up a little bit then place it into the uh, into the groove uh, fairly quickly and allow it to cool and it'll stay there just like you see here. Now I'm going to line up the pump on those two fixings there. So I bring the pump in and then I'll do the other two by feel. 
just gently tighten each of the four fixings down just nip them up very gently first or four before finally uh, fixing them down to the torque just to make sure that the pump is square and that all the fixings are, are running home go around and torque the bolts up to the specified torque of 24 newton meters return the drive pulley to position do the fixings up uh, just finger tight for the moment and return the drive belt into place on the pulley and round the tensioner make sure to put the drive belt on the same way that you took it off so that you don't reverse its direction of rotation something which would uh, overstress the belt and potentially cause it to fail and with your T50 Torx lift the tensioner and return the belt into its proper position double check that the belt uh, lines up properly with all the pulleys and now that it's gone dark while we were out here finishing off we had a little visitor come rustling up to us now the belt's back on don't forget to go back in and with your six millimeter hex tighten up the bolts that hold the pulley to the water pump to the uh, specified 22 newton meters and finally refill your coolant you should of course make sure that you've got the proper water antifreeze mix but unfortunately because this is a emergency repair for us we're just putting water back in it for the moment once you've refilled with sufficient uh, coolant just put the cap on two or three turns and then you can start the engine let it run by leaving the cap loose it'll allow any air bubbles out and you can take it back off to check the level and top up while it's running as the engine warms up you'll see air bubbles coming out of the center of the uh, water bottle keep an eye on that and keep topping up as necessary so that's it jobs are good in all in all it should take you about an hour maybe marginally over it's taken us just a little under two hours and that includes filming it don't forget to add your comments down below if you got some value out of this video give it a like and I'll see you next time.